your computer. We know how important it is. Remote access is incredibly powerful, but you must be sure the tool you use keeps you safe. In this video, we're going to explain how all the security features and services we've built into VNC Connect combine to make sure you and all the people in your team can use remote access and support one another in complete confidence. Independent Authentication Systems Every computer that is part of your team and that you connect to via our cloud service is protected by not one, but two completely separate authentication systems. So no one password controls remote access. First, in order to discover computers that are available for you to connect to, you must sign in to your VNC Viewer app using your own unique Real VNC account credentials. For each new device you sign into at a new location, we'll send you a verification email, so you can't be impersonated using cracked or leaked credentials. We recommend turning on two-factor authentication in the online portal to completely secure your real VNC account, in which case a six-digit code is sent to your mobile device every time you sign in. Next, once you've chosen a computer to connect to, you must authenticate again, this time to our VNC server app running on the remote computer. By default, you enter the Active Directory or system username and password you normally use to log in to your desktop on that computer, so you don't have to remember yet another password. You can specify multi-factor authentication for VNC Server using any combination of digital certificates, smart cards, single sign-on, the RADIUS protocol, and more. Because VNC Connect is built for sharing, you can invite people into your team to share remote access. Every team member has their own real VNC account. If you have an enterprise subscription, you can mandate that each member must enable two-factor authentication on their own account so you can be sure only legitimate account holders are able to participate in your remote access team. Granular access control and rich session permissions. You don't have to give everyone in your team the same level of remote access. In the online portal, you can restrict the discovery of remote computers using groups so only particular people can discover certain computers. If a person cannot discover a computer using VNC Viewer, they cannot possibly connect to it. Meanwhile, you can integrate VNC Server with Active Directory user groups in order to fine-tune session permissions. For example, you could allow the administrators group to exercise full keyboard and mouse control of a remote computer but make standard users view only. You also have granular control over the use of in-session features such as file transfer, copy and paste, remote print, and text chat. End-to-end -end session encryption. Every remote access session is encrypted end-to-end -end using 128-bit AES encryption and perfect forward secrecy. This means that files, screen data, and keystrokes transmitted between two devices using a remote access session remain completely private to you now and in the future. Neither real VNC nor any third party can decrypt session communications. If you have an enterprise subscription, you can upgrade encryption to 256-bit AES. Audit logging. Every session is logged so you can see a complete history of who connected, when, for how long, and what session permissions were granted. You can dial up the log level and specify alternate log destinations to configure your audit trail exactly how you need it. VNC Connect has many other security and privacy features, such as screen blanking, blacklisting, gatekeeping, fingerprint checking, IP filtering, and more. For more information, please visit our dedicated security and compliance page where you can download our security white paper and other resources. Thanks for watching.